first learned about Shepherd's Hill Academy when I was actually in college. It was a really amazing opportunity because I was doing my practicum and I wanted to learn more about how to do horse therapy and um, therapy together, so I discovered Shepherd's Hill Academy. Um, and I never knew it was here before. It's kind of crazy. I've grown up around here and never knew it was here before. So that's how I first learned about Shepherd's Hill. Good. Tell me about your role, your involvement with the ministry. Yeah, so I've been here about five years. My role here has been to be a primary girls therapist and then I'm currently serving as the clinical director for Shepherd's Hill Academy. Um, and that's an amazing opportunity to be able to speak into the lives of the kids and their families and then also be able to provide some leadership here on campus as well. Very good. How would you describe the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of the ministry? Yeah, the vision and the ministry behind Shepherd's Hill Academy is really to impact the kingdom um, by changing the world uh, for the students and their families. Not only do we want to you know, be a light in the industry of therapy, but also to um, culturally change the world by um, teaching families a new way of approaching um, the family dynamic through what we know from the gospel. Mm -hmm. Very good. So talk about ways the Lord is using this ministry to help share the gospel. Talk about evangelism. Okay. Um, specifically the way that we use evangelism in my role uh, we have such a unique opportunity here at Shepherd's Hill Academy to integrate clinical and share the gospel as well. We freely talk about what God is doing in our lives and how God can use the lives of the kids that we serve and their families. So they're learning real time what it's like to be a Christ follower, which is really amazing. Um, and so we're evangelizing, teaching them the word of the Lord, and then also modeling that for them. Um, so that's just one of the ways that we're evangelizing to the kids and their families. Good. Talk about discipleship. How are you guys making disciples? What does that mean around here? Um, we are really getting to live out discipleship here at Shepherd's Hill Academy. So not only do we have leadership pouring into us, but we're also pouring into the kids and their families. So there's like a three-step um, discipleship happening. And so... Uh, residentially staff get to live with the kids and have conversations about worldviews and the gospel and what does Jesus say about this and giving kids the opportunity to ask really hard questions that they maybe haven't gotten the answer to otherwise. Um, and so we're doing discipleship so organically and it's so amazing and in the therapy office I really get to share my heart and what the God has done for me and then pointing them back to Jesus as well, too. So that's that's how we're able to do discipleship at Shepherd's Hill. That's good. So um, talk about some of the unique circumstances and situations these children come from and their family dynamics. Yeah, definitely. We come from what's called a family systems approach, which means we know that a lot of this stuff has to do with the family. It's not just one person. But a lot of the kids that we see, they struggle with depression. They struggle with anxiety. They have a lot of peer relationship issues, um, relationships within the family because of different dynamics going on there. Um, and so they're coming from a variety of backgrounds and then also they're inundated with technology all of the time, which is impacting them. And they, they don't have a real true identity the way that we know that our identity is in Christ. And so there's lots of different reasons, but we feel like the family is kind of where it starts and we want to address those, those issues as well. That's good. So talk about ways people can get involved and support a ministry like Shepherd's Hill Academy. First of all, the way to get involved that you don't have to do anything is just to pray for us. Please pray for us because we really feel like God is doing amazing things at Shepherd's Hill and we need your prayer. Um, we covet your prayers and we can feel your prayers, definitely. Um, the second way to get involved would obviously be to um, do financial support because residential care is expensive and not everybody can afford it. However, we want to be able to serve as many families as we can. So financially giving not only helps support us, but it helps support the kids that we're serving too and further the kingdom in that way. Awesome. Um, volunteer opportunities? Yeah, so volunteer opportunities we do partner with volunteers in the community so they can get involved with the kids and be able to, again, disciple, disciple them. 
Um, but I like to take on interns and stuff to teach them about counseling and psychology, especially from a Christian approach, because I feel like that's something that we're missing in the field. So those are another way that you can get involved here. Awesome. So why do you do what you do? I definitely feel called. Um, it's not just a job for me. Um, I definitely feel called to be here and to be able to, to impact the kingdom and to be able to talk with the kids that I get to serve um, with and their families. I get to see lives change, um, and that's really awesome. You know, getting a kid to, to smile or to interact with their family or to have really meaningful um, interactions with their family is great. Yeah, praise God. Final question, is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us today? I just really feel like, you know, um, you can just pray for our, for our ministry and to support us and to um, just continue spreading the word about what God is doing here to, to ultimately do that culture shift and that change. Thank you.